Welcome back to Icarus, my name is Nilaus and we are coming back here to our missions overlay. I am level 50, I have some money to spend, I have a pretty good loadout and we have unlocked over here on the Olympus, we have unlocked a few of the missions. I really am enjoying this game. I'm streaming it a lot more than I would expect and I just have so much fun with it. It's this comfort feeling of just building and grinding and setting up the shop. And then going out on an adventure when you feel you're prepared for it. Absolutely awesome gameplay and I'm really enjoying it. So do also come by my Twitch streams to see if I'm streaming some more Icarus. Maybe even some multiplayer. Who knows? We're going to go in here on the Olympus map. You can see some things have been unlocked. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, we unlocked up here. Uh, we did that on a uh, on a previous stream. We unlocked the dry run expedition. And now it's time to go into the desert. Uh, Dryron is opening up the desert to blaze a trail to the canyons, and now we are accessing the, into the canyons. So we'll be going They've deep been noticing here. your work and want to take advantage of new territory. If they can get terrain data, they can plan new drop zones, open the place wide up. You got this? Yep, I got this. All right, so uh, this is scan location one, two, and three. That doesn't give us much information, but those are in the desert as far as I understand. We're also starting in the desert, but I am kind of thinking maybe we don't want to stay in the desert. Maybe we want to go out of the desert and set up shop. Depends on what it actually like it is like in the desert, and then maybe only going back into the desert once there's sort of a, uh, yeah, there's a, a place and a time to, to actually go in there. Uh, we are ready for it. So... Uh, if you uh, like these kind of episodes, be sure to hit the like button and uh, let me know in the comment section below if you have some good ideas or bad ideas or feedback. Uh, I enjoy it. I know these are not the most popular videos, but I enjoy making them. And I, uh, I'm i hoping that some people will watch it and go like, hey, this game looks actually pretty cool. Let me uh, watch it a little bit more. Maybe come by the streams. So that is the point. Point. Let's uh, not dive in here yet. We actually want to go up here and do go to the workshop. Because we have uh, unlocked a few things. If you look at my loadout, I have quite a bit of cool things. I have uh, this armor, uh, the full armor set now. We have a pickaxe. We have uh, a good suit. We have a survival backpack. We have our oxygen and water tank. So that's what we have. And a little bit more money here. So I'm kind of, I was kind of thinking that I wanted to go up here and then get the bow. But uh, I had the 400 and that's enough for the bow and researching and crafting cost. But I also have to go through this one. So... Boohoo. This is also like obviously an amazing bow, but it's a little bit expensive uh, for, for us to go in right now. So what I'm really looking forward to is we this would be nice, but it's 200 uh, uh, exotics. Not going to do that. This is complete junk, but this campfire, hmm, that might actually be really nice to have. Uh, when we need to go out and set up some shop, then having a good campfire that you can place down anywhere might actually be a really cool idea. Uh, I'm just not really sure. Like this one, I'm leaning more towards, but yeah, well, we'll get this campfire. Yeah, 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 we'll do that. Yep, there, that one. And we will also just build it, craft it, sweet. And then we are all out and we got this campfire. Why we need it? Well, I think we just want it. Let's go in, sticks. And which one was it? It was the death race game on hot difficulty. Let's go. Take advantage of new territory. If they can get terrain data, they can plan new drop zones. Open the place wide up. There. You got this? Ah. We got this. We got this. So we have almost like a full inventory of uh, what we can bring down to the station. That's actually kind of a, a concerning that this will actually at some point be a limiting factor. We have a pretty good... This armor is absolutely amazing. Look at the cold resist and heat resist on this uh, here. So we should be pretty healthy in terms of sort of resisting the cold and heat mainly the heat in this case. So, confirm loadout, let's go. All right, so we are landing and it's time for us to figure out what this but they is like. Need help, even out here. They want scans of the region, terrain data so they can open up new drop zones and get prospectors into the area. Sites are on your map. So grab a radar and get going. Grab a radar and get going, all right. Uh, so we are just getting just the initial stuff here and let's see what are we what can we do initially oh <laughs> first things first let's get all the cool stuff here yeah let's get all the cool stuff awesome and also that one radar goes into that slot and we just equip all of these things yeah there we go that look at that suit of armor here so we got some oxygen, we got some water going quickly. That's very nice. And we also have a 
Uh, this one will just be... Well, actually, I'll put it in 9, I guess. And you're going to be here. We are going to... The first things we want to do is build a axe, maybe? And a pickaxe. Well, nope. We don't have that. Uh, we'll get a little bit more. And that's also some stone. Can we get the pickaxe now? Yes. Okay, so I'm not going to be using this initially. There, four and five. That's where I always put them. So let's chop some trees. These are the trees that we have. Oh, they seem easier to chop, these ones. Right, so we we'll, um, we can already see over there we have some... That looks like a scorpion. So we already have things way too close that are way too dangerous for us. That is a little bit concerning. So we'll start by uh, just setting up a little shop here. Uh, we're not going to make it as big as I usually want to make it. Because it, um, I, I think we're... Uh, I think we're a little bit uh, under pressure in the, this case. So uh, let's try to set up a little shop over in this uh, corner here and then uh, see if we can, yeah, what we're gonna do from here. All right, we got the first thing here. Yeah, that's uh, 35. Yeah, that's not happening. All right, so uh, I think we found a different strategy for this is, uh, and that is uh, we don't wanna be here. Uh, there is no way that I can kill scorpions with a puny bow here. So uh, it's time for us to uh, disengage and run the hell out of this area. It seems a little bit weird. Are they coming? No. There we go. We got a hyena. We can get that. We Hopefully they are like wolves. They are a little bit tougher than wolves it seems. Yeah. And that sucks. Oh. Oh my god, this is not a place for us to be. Are you fucking kidding me? Alright, we recovered, but um, I'm not very confident about any of this. Need better arrows, I guess. Um... change armor type to this one slightly better this is absolutely disgusting i if we die again i am not going i'm going to try to get off this planet because this is this is unsustainable for sure that one i can't deal with i just cannot deal with those without guns it seems they i deal 35 damage that is just nothing and that's a piggy and it's probably a nasty piggy just by the way uh, we'll go this way and try to sneak. It sucks. It sucks. Weather, mm, of course. Arid winds, sure, 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 sure. All right, we're going to be running. The point here is that we need to get the hell out of this area because this is not a place to be starting. We need to get up to guns before we do anything in the desert. Uh, I don't know. Maybe uh, maybe if you have some a good boat to start with, maybe that's... Uh, a workable solution, but I need to get up there. This looks, uh, this is the exit of the cave of this or horrible area, and I need to get out of there. Oh, there's an elephant, but that's a nice, that's a friendly elephant. See, they're friendly. Don't want to shoot those. Yeah, let's not. We've now built all the thing, all the things that we uh, need to do in, uh, or we can build before we get into, uh, in into. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Uh, there, yeah, here. All of these things. These are all the things we can do without getting any iron inbound. So that bow is out, and new bow is in. That's good. Uh, I did not want to repair. I just want to destroy it. That's all good. And then we can just start plopping things down here that we need, and that's going to be here. And we're going to get the chimney that's up here. This one will be fired up. Good to go. Then we're going to get some... Uh, this This is a little bit too close, but I kind of want it to sleep right in front of the fireplace. And let's pop it down again. Sleep right in front of the fireplace. Awesome. And set our spawn point. Great. Then I'm going to get a oxide something something that already is going to be right next to the door. And this is always next to the door as well. Uh, I'm going to get the mortar and pestle. That will 
uh, now from now on it's always going to be on top of the herbalism bench and might as well build it here because it's kind of useful yeah and i make it on top that's how we do it now and i'm gonna make one of these uh i'll have the crafting benches over here so we'll build all the things that generate heat over on this location and we have a rain reservoir that we'll be building outside and that outside is a little bit of a tricky thing here uh this is not a good place just for it and i'll also be showing the house but we'll do that in the morning when we're ready and we also have over here that's gonna be our rain reservoir and we have our food get a little bit of food and we have our new thing here this is great consume that and we go in look at this so it's brilliant i love it it uh, crosses across the bridge it only has a little bit of a problem because the the wildlife is pathing across it so let's leave on some morning and see what is up next so this is our house. I'm uh, actually really happy with it. It's a little more advanced than it technically needs to be, but we have the room for all we need to do. Now at this point, I need to just go here. And that is a three Chevron mine. So that uh, should be a good haul. I have a clean inventory, We're ready to go. And what I want to do is simply go over there and uh, mine as much as possible. We have our good mining pick as well. So we'll be uh, trying to get as much as possible. So let's head on south. I'm going to go around the lake and then just mine away as much as we can get away with. All right, we've cleared this uh, mine and there's something really interesting about it. One, two, two, three. And four titanium. I am pretty sure that if I take these four titanium with my good pickaxe, then I will actually be able to uh, just need one more uh, mine with some of these titanium. And then I don't have to come back after I get that attachment that I just said. So we're going to do this one and see how much we get out of one of these. Uh, this has uh, how much extra? It has 125 mining yield. Uh, the steel has 130, I think. There, so I get 32 out of this. Mm, that's a little bit low, but... Uh, 4 times 32, that's something. That's more than halfway. Uh, unfortunately, it's also just... Well, the thing is, this is so far away that I don't bother coming back to it later on. So we want to tap out this one immediately with all the titanium. We can, so I don't have to worry about coming back. That's another 64. I'm going to get to 96 with this uh, this location here, with this one. Um, so I, I think it's 128 already, and I need 200 plus whatever I need for... Uh, yeah, I need 200 for the gun, and I done, on top of that, I need a, a few more just for a few repairs if needed, so I don't have to worry about that. Good. All right, that would, that got us. Oh, 129. Okay, so slight, slightly off here. Then we're just going to be mining the rest. I have uh, basically the option of of using my good pickaxe, or I can use my normal one. The one, this good pickaxe, if it or well, when it wears out, it won't be. Uh, I can't get any more back again. So uh, stuff like gold that we need a little bit more of, I'll take that, and I'll take that with this pickaxe, so I get the 25% extra yield. And I also really would like another a bigger, better one here. And then I think I think there should be some... Wasn't there an aluminium in here? No, there was no aluminium. That sucks because we really need aluminium as well. And then we have some platinum. It's also necessary. I, actually, I don't need the platinum for anything. But um, I guess I'd take it. So this is the first mine completed. We have uh, worn down our special pickaxe about half. We have worn down on it pretty much. We have a lot of... Uh, a lot of iron, a little bit of copper, some gold, some coal, some platinum, though useless, and 129 titanium, which is what we really want. Uh, and I have no inventory space left. I have pneumonia. I have parasites. I'm, I'm a good to go. I need to get the hell away from here. And... Oh, that was a bad shot. There we go. First shot. First try. <clears throat> We have a house and someone, our little doggo is waiting patiently outside. That's kind of funny. Uh, that's going to make it easy to get a little. This is uh, what happens basically when uh, when we have set up shops so close or bridging this uh, river. So that means they, if they sort of want a path across, then, well, they'll try to path across through my house. 
Uh, we'll just throw that out and chop it. Okay, so we are back. Yay! Inventory full. Never mind. And remember to close the door because they will be walking through. Right, so... Um, nothing in here. Uh, but what we definitely want to do is get this one activated. So that gets all the iron, all the copper, and nothing really else than that. And let's also get a little bit of here. So we can actually get it going... Activate. So that gets us all the iron ore we kind of need. Um, I don't think this is enough, but I think it's, uh, it's it's close enough. We'll get all this in here, and these will just be stored for a later date. I can go with epoxy. We're going to be getting needing a lot of epoxy, and what we then need to do while we are waiting for this to be processing. Well, actually, I think I'm going to make two of those because yeah, you know, it just takes forever. So. Oops, that did not work there. I'm gonna make two of those. Then I'm gonna go out and get 250 silica and some sulfur as well. The reason why we want that is because we are going to need a lot of, uh, uh, yeah, a lot of silica for concrete and that's gonna be the next thing we really want to do. So let's get first that one over here and then let's get some stuff here. And there are a lot of things that I normally would do here, but I choose not to do in this uh, this playthrough because we want to rush to the guns and then we want to get out and, uh, and do it. So we also have a little bit of issue. We are not getting any more oxygen, so I'm still just breathing in my oxygen flask from the previous mission, which is a little bit uh, stressful. So that is uh, another thing we need to deal with as well. Alright, so we got home with a lot of uh, additional resources here. That is very nice. And uh, we just keep working on it. We have 50 uh, steel ready to go. And we have some epoxy. We have all of these good stuff. What we definitely need now is we need to work on getting a machining bench. Well, we can't do that. So it is first, we just first the anvil, then the machining bench. And once we get the machining bench, we will get the concrete concrete mixer then we'll get the concrete and then we need to go uh, start working on the next part so that's a lot of uh, long long trail ahead of us to get some steel going all right so we got the machining bench and now we have the cement mixer as well and what do we need to do we need to make 62 of these can we do that yes we can so why 62 well we need 20 for something we need 30 for something else and we need 12 for something else there we go i got the whole thing planned out uh, as you can probably hear now let's uh, let's walk through this uh the furnace is 20 then the fabricator is 30 and then this biofuel here is 12 so that's what we need to do uh, we need to make sure that we get the concrete here this one needs more rope and then we need the last bit of iron we have left. We only have 17 iron left and I'm going to use the 12 of those here. That's going to be pretty damn risky. Well, not risky, but uh, yeah, uh, constrained. And then when the country makes so we can start making steel. The first deal we're going to get is going into a steel pickaxe. And then we want to go some other. Um, here, for example, we have a glass working bench. So one of the things that you could sort of go like, oh, if we get the glass working bench, we can actually get... And we can get bottles and uh, glass bottles and glass jars. We can get the best uh, food. I would think that's beer, of course. It is, um, uh, it's carrots, uh, car pickled carrots and uh, something, a berry jam. So those are really good, but you need to make them in a kitchen sink. And a kitchen sink requires uh, refined wood and refined wood requires carpentry bench so you kind of have like a long series of changes to, to get the carpentry bench and then we have to afterwards get over here get the kitchens uh, kitchen bench which is a let yet another more things you can see it requires very fine so the question is like is that worth it for us to go and get the get those things uh, also we have uh, this furnace with us so we can just make some food as we go along so i don't think it's really worth it uh, to to do that so with that, uh, we are just going to wait for this to be completed so we can get the furnace. Once we have the furnace, we can uh, get the, the rest of the go of everything going. All right, so we have the furnace and we have a not enough iron for what I wanted. This is really, really uh, annoying, unfortunately. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to get the steel first because we need the steel. Then we're going to get some titanium. We're going to get the gold ore and we're going to get the platinum. What I really wanted to do was I wanted to go over to this one and make an alter uh, alteration bench because if we had this, we 
we can use this alteration bench to make a steel improvement or make an improvement to our uh, get 25% extra yield from titanium. Unfortunately, I can't get that because I don't have enough iron and we can't get more iron before we go out and I'm not going to go out without sort of getting whatever we can we can get. So, unfortunately, that means we are at a position where we... Oh, you kind of need to activate it. All right, so we need to get the steel. Once we have the steel, we can get a steel pickaxe and then we're going to go out uh, again into, into another... Uh, whoops, there we go. That's what we were missing. All right, into another round and get all the materials we need. So a lot of iron, uh, some titanium here, and then what is the what else do we do? Aluminium is also something we desperately need. All right, really bad news about this one. It, this doesn't have a single titanium in it, so that is uh, really bad. Um, I don't even think I want to take this right now. I want to take the underwater. One. Oh, there is one titanium. All right, well, <clears throat> I'm going to be chopping the titanium and see how much we get because we do need one more titanium. Uh, as far as I can see, there's also another one that's a little further away. All right, we got 31. That's not enough. We're going to need two more titanium. All right, we started by being lucky <laughs> with uh, four titanium, but this kind, this time we do not have enough titanium. I've been taking pretty much all of the gold, a little bit of the copper, and most of the iron ore in here but it is not enough for us. So we unfortunately have to go to the next location, which absolutely sucks because it's all the way down there. So it is time for us to jump on out, swim out of this uh, location, even with our, uh, with our pneumonia in our lungs and then head towards the last one because we need 18, maybe even 19, but uh, 18 uh, aluminium, 19 because I also want to be able to repair after if it, if the recurve bow breaks. And then we need some, uh, need more titanium because titanium, well, that's absolutely critical because that's how we repair our, uh, that is how we build our gun. And we do not have enough right now. If we had had the plus 25% yield, then we would have had enough. And I don't like that. All right, I see. Titanium. I spy with my little eyes some titanium and I also saw some aluminium further down. Look at that top left hand corner. There's more aluminium up there and we're now up to 70 and I needed to go to how much? Mm, okay, 82 plus 29. That's a little bit more than I need, but uh, that's it's damn close. And we need to just get the aluminium. Come on, I just need 19 of those and I'm pretty sure we get more than 19 from one of these. That's it already. 18, 24, perfect. And that was the location here. Home sweet home. We now have everything we need for all of our construction. But there's still a long way to go because we need to do this. Okay, let's also do that. Uh, we're going to get here. That'll be, nope, not gold, but copper. There you go. Activate and here. Activate over on this one. The most important thing is, of course, the titanium. That's not going to help. Uh, over here, the titanium. Oh, they're still working, actually. That's crazy. Um, titanium and aluminium and then just whatever else. There. That works. So we have now some steel. Good. We have a little bit of titanium. We need to get all the way up to the titanium. That should work. Oh, if it doesn't work, then I'm just going to freak out. And then I just need to now just build a ton of other things. All right, so we're back and we have some things so that's good, but we also have a bit of an issue, uh, actually a rather massive issue, to be honest. Uh, that is the fact that, uh, let me just get some of this. I need one, two, three, three of these. Yes. Um, our massive issue is here. The fabricator needs 40 aluminium, but I'd also like to get 80, 18 here. That's 58. Then on top of that, in order for us to get this, we need eight carbon fiber, carbon fiber is require one so i need, need eight more so that means 58 plus eight that is 66 and how many do we have well let's have a look i have 47 plus 12 that's 59 that means i cannot make what i want crap so i could e if if i had done now uh, the mistake of making the recurve bow then i couldn't make um the fabricator so i'm going to be focusing on making the fabricator which is these two and Actually, this one, this one, and this one. Uh, you go over there, and you go over there, and there, there. So that's 48. So I need eight of these in here. That will be working towards the paste thing. Uh, then we need here. And over here, we also got three of these cans. They are important. 
And then I meet, need this biofuel stove because I need a lot of biofuel coming forward. I also need the sonic station. They go in here. I'm pretty sure that over here I built a got a lot of there. So where are we? Where are we? These. And now I need to fill these fuel cans up. I need to fill them up with well, it could be something like some food, for example. We'll, we'll start feeding it that there that's uh, some food get in there then i'll start working i need the best one is sticks that's the easiest way to uh, to get it so we'll be uh, feeding it some sticks then we are also waiting for this we have exactly the 40 we need actually i don't need to put them in there um we also need now i actually need more gold as far as i can tell yeah gold is more important right now because we need okay we need two more gold because we need 30 gold in total for our, um, for all the 30, I mean, or 30 circuits we need. let circuits, there. And we need a lot of copper. That's one, two, three copper. So let's go over here and have a look. We'll put this in, we'll put one, two, three in here. And then we'll get epoxy. So we now need 60 epoxy. And we need some organic resin. Organic resin is also something we need for something else here. Uh, we can make more epoxy like that. That's getting a little bit more epoxy, but certainly not enough. So uh, what we also need to do now is I need some organic resin because organic resin can also be done with there. So let's chop some trees, get some epoxy, get some organic resin, get some of the carbon paste. Also good. Finally, we can make the fabricator. So let's get that one done. The fabricator is now being made. This is the whole point of all of this uh, grinding that's been taking, well, the better part of three hours, I think. There we go. We even got a level for it as a reward for our patients. There we go. We now need to get in here. So that needs epoxy and it's screws, it's leather, it needs uh, everything we have, epoxy, it screws, that's it. And we go over here and get the titanium. That is one and two stacks of titanium. And then I have one remaining titanium. Well, actually we have quite a lot of extra titanium here, but um, that means we can now make the gun. Ooh, that's amazing. Right, but well, that's a long and arduous journey here. There we go, that's uh, gonna be made. Then I also want to make the alteration, I think. So let's see, where do we make the alteration? Bar that's, uh, that's gonna be in this one. Alteration, that one. That means 40 copper nails. Okay, let's go let's get those. So the one I want to make is a sniper scope. It gives uh, extra critical damage, which I like. We are definitely going to take it. It takes two titanium. We have four additional titanium remaining, so we can repair this whole thing two times over. And once we have that, we can go over to the other one. I'm going to carefully take my hunter rifle in here. I'm carefully taking my sniper scope. If you miss that one, then it just it's gone. So yeah, that kind of sucks. Now, this is actually going to be the next challenging uh, problematic thing i need to have these two fully stacked up almost uh, i need to build a thing here this will be the short rate the orbital exchange thing so let's get that and the uh, reason why we want that uh, let's just make 30 i don't know what they needed for and let's get some copper that is still something we have enough of um, so we are now gearing up so that i can go out into Orbital exchange, orbital exchange interface, yes. Because somewhere up here, we will have a uh, an exotic deposit. But if we go up there and put down the scanner, then I can't carry the radar. And I need the radar here, so I can't carry that, but I can carry, um, I can carry the working bench, and then I can prepare it so that I have all the things for two biofuel extractor and a biofuel radar already in my inventory as I move out. It's kind of absurd, but um, we're going to do that. We have our water and uh, our oxygen completely saturated. So it is time for us to head out into the world. And we don't need to kill anything, to be honest. Uh, we could kill a bow, uh, one of these here and there. Uh, but we don't need anything uh, in terms of... Yeah, well, we don't need anything. So we'll just go straight through and just run, 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 run until we get to where we need to go. and. When we get into the desert and things become a little more dangerous, then we'll be switching to uh, the gun. And we now see down here, that is the first. There we go. 
So that is uh, the first thing we kill in here. So even that, that when we were back in the beginning, we dealt, how much damage did we do? Uh, we did 36 damage, so that's kind of uh, not relevant. And these two we can't do until we have a mission that allows us to do that. And up we go. Alright, so that's pretty good. Let's see what we have here. An elephant. Uh, let's not try to kill that one. Scorpion. They are consistently needing two shots. Oh wow, that scorpion is reacting. Okay. Good thing we got a lot of uh, guns here, or a lot of shots, because they are... Imagine us shooting and they and dealing 36 damage to them. Hmm. Hmm. Probably not great. There. Hyena. Dead hyena. Um, well, there's a lot of stuff here that's not particularly dangerous for us right now. But uh, if we did not have all of our equipment, then... Oh, look at that. There we go. Another hyena down. Dealing 4,000 something damage is a pretty good start for uh, killing things. Uh, the scorpions, we can take those out with... Uh, if we can get a surprise attack, then we should be fine against them. But, um, yeah. We are just uh, pushing forward. We have nothing we want to do here. Nothing at all. Just passing through this location. I'm even going to have a sip now that we can. Uh, temperature wise, it's 35 degrees. This is not bad because it's morning. 35 degrees, not a problem. And it will kind of maybe become a little bit of a problem. But we have this one, which automatically cools us. Plus, we have this amazing armor that gives us, let's see, um, cold. Oh, heat resistance 60%. That is massive. All right, what do we got? We got a Nina with Cougar. Yeah, that was a little bit uh, better than in the very first visit we had with the Cougar. Oh yeah, by the way, we don't have shit like this there. Yeah, we, we really don't need to take all this. Yeah. It's just a habit of, uh, of Take them out also because then they don't attract anymore of course i think we'll just be running through this nothing behind us and just push forward that's a cougar isn't it got it this is why we need 270 shots for for going in here let's see how where we are uh, we're still, we're going to go around this pillar, and that's a four. Damn, this is crazy. Okay, this one is hostile. I can't imagine doing this without a gun. Just, it's that simple. How the hell are you? Hostile already. Don't shoot the elephant. Elephants are nice. They're friendly. Oh, I don't think I'm supposed to be up here. I think I'm actually supposed to be down here. We're going to be tracking so much junk from uh, from all the corpses we leave behind. Oh, scorpion. And then the cougar. Right, we are. We already used 35 shots, so this is. Uh, it's it's going. It's something is happening here, and now we go up here this way. That's an impala. That, oh, a zebra! Nice. That's cool. Impala antelope, probably not. What is this? That's also an antelope. Cool. pretty absurd gun show we have here just shooting left right and center and we are heading up to this one i was just checking this location here because that is a potential location where there could be a uh, 
uh, a miner. So uh, I just wanted to check it. I didn't need to set down a, uh, a radar for that, but I could just uh, just have a little glance at it and uh, just check. Nothing was there. So we'll move up to our quest first quest location. There are three quest, quest locations we have to go to, and I am pretty sure that uh, when we get to a location, it will be start spamming uh, a lot of things. We've already used 50 gun, uh, 50 bullets. That is a lot. There we go. We can see it. We can see it. And this will be where... This is the place. This is the place. You know what to do. Uh, I suppose I do. Whoop. Press to interact. Activate the station. Okay. It, it's activated. Station activated. And we'll be attacked. Let's see. And it's 9%. 10, 11%. All right. Come on. It really sucked going down from over there to over here. Just had to go all the way around. But, well, that is what it is. 28%. 31. I'm not seeing anything. Oh, man. That's some angry wildlife. Well, that's a dead elephant. Uh, let's not have more of those. 66. Uh, there's a problem. Ugh. Start the unit back up. Okay. Station activated. I wonder if that one is... That was probably not aggroed. But it was just a roaming one. That's a dead elephant. And 95, 95. We are good. Keep it up. There's another marker on your map. Collect the station. And off we go. Right, so now I want to go to... Uh, the next marker on my map is... <laughs> there and there. But I'm actually going to go to this location first. This location will be uh, a potential location for a mining facility. Or sort of uh, a solid mining facility. So we'll go for that one. And we're coming up on the second potential location where, whoops, where there could be a, uh, a mining location for exotics. So we'll keep a little bit of an eye on this. <laughs> Move forward. <clears throat> we should get some hero music if this is the right spot. If not, then uh, we don't get it. And is it here? Where are we? No, a little bit further. So it should be over here. Um, that's the second of the three locations where it can spawn. So... I don't think this is the location either. Whoops. Oh, that's hero music. That's hero music. I love it. Ta-da! That's the hero music we were looking for. Awesome. So we don't need the scanner. What we need to do now is just figure out what this is. All right. We need to set up shop right here. Uh, and actually hang around for a little bit. So I will be setting up my little house there. It'll be this. And we'll be really civilized. We even have a door in this house. There. I will be taking my... Like that. I'll be setting up my little burner. There we go. That can start working on this part. And we realize we do not have any trees that's fine we can get easily get trees here that's a bit of an oasis that's enough trees for us and trees go in activate so we get more food that's lovely can we also get some soft meat sure and in here we are going to set up shop uh hold on always the roof first there we are going to set up our machining bench there we are going to set up our bedroll mm. the lighting there i'll set the spawn point so if, if bad things happened i'm gonna get the biofuel extractor and the thing is you can't put it in here so it has to be in that location so i build, build it put it down and get some fuel in here go back in oops build the other one because there can always be placed two on these locations where is it there and get that one in. Yep. And now we just wait for these to be completed. Uh, it's going to take a little bit of time. Luckily, that's not something you have to wait for. It's just something I have to wait for. And I will be taking these two here. So once they are completed, I will use my orbital exchange 
thing, this one. Uh, interface, I'll deploy it. Uh, I can deploy it right now because, yeah, well, if there's a problem, there could be a problem. Cool. I'm just gonna hang back here and uh, just wait for these to complete. This will have between 80 and 120, so either of these have to get 40 or 40 to 60 each. So, time to wait. Here's a fun little thing I noticed. My gun is almost broken. That's problematic. That's really problematic. So, I actually want to leave these two here, run back, repair, and get the um, uh, get the repair bench. The thing is, like, how do I even get from this location back here? Because that is a gigantic thing. So I wonder if I have to go. Oh my god, that's so far. I think I actually have to go that way because this is a way up. This is also a way up, but there's no way down here. As far as I can see, well, there's always a way down, but you know, not not a perfect way. There's a way down here, but then I'd have to go like up wherever this one is and up more as well. That's kind of crazy. Right. All right. We managed to get all the way back. <laughs> Quite ridiculous how long of a ride that was. And uh, now at this point we need, uh, is it aluminum we need? No, it's uh, titanium we need. We need titanium over here. And we need to repair. There you go. That was all I did. All I had to do was just go back to do that kind of repair. Wow. Um, well, there might be a few other things we can do before heading out again. There isn't. And back out again. It is such a long way because you have to go down here. Um, I wonder if you could just jump down. But then how do you get back up? Then you have to go back up from here. I need to go to this location. It's just impossible to move around in this area. Well, um, I guess we have to go uh, this long path down there. That sucks. All right. Well, off we go. All right. We're finally coming back to this location. And I've actually be been using half of my gun uh, just to get there. Just to get back and forth. I've used so much of my uh, repair capabilities. Uh, we have a little bit of that, a little bit of uh, cooked soft meat, sure, 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 sure. And I'll take you out and I will pick you up as well. All right, so we have our location here. Um, don't want to care about that. And we should have these here. Yay. And what do we have here? More yay. Perfect. Don't need to do anything more with it, but I do need to set up my... Yeah. Dashboard that will summon down a little requester, which will come on this side. Here. And this one will then get all of this delivered to station. Excellent. Great. So now we can go into our little house. Uh, in here, I can actually make a little bit more. It's not a lot, but everything counts because if we were being honest, we are actually having. A little bit of an issue here. Uh, this is max stamina, max health, max 20. Ooh, soft cooked meat is insanely good. All right, that's good. Do I want this? No, I don't need it. Do I need my bedroll? No, this is going to be where we are. I don't really need to carry any more of that. So at this point, we have to go up to that one and then that one. Let's see if we have a look if there's one that's easier than the other. Well, I think, I think we'll go, yeah. I think we'll try that. Um, oh, hyena. I'm trying to kill anything I can without using my uh, um, my gun. Here. And then I think I'd have to do, do this. I have to pick this up. Don't like the sounds. Oh. Stupid one and a cougar. Okay, um, that sucked. Yeah, and get the bedroll. Whoa, that bedroll is almost dead. Ooh, that was uh, not great. And we are hurting a little bit here, so I will be making. Yeah. use it all right so now it's time to get the hell away from this location 
as you can kind of see, we are... Uh, this is reloaded. Right. What? Um, okay, I need to go out first here, and then I can go straight up. This this map here is absolutely insane. This, uh, this quest is so difficult compared to anything we've seen before. And this is a one star, so... It is tough, and it's not exactly like it's easier just because I, uh, I, or I couldn't really have made it a lot easier by not going out here or not by, by not taking the exotics. So this is just the difficulty of this part, and I don't see how you can get anywhere with a bow here. Maybe the best bow in the game, but whew, guns are must have. Here it is. Okay. Are we ready? This is the zone. It's around here somewhere. Right, I think we have enough ammo to shoot our way through all of this, so let's there just go. There you go. Stations online. Wish me luck. Thirteen percent. There will be. Last time it was one elephant, so if it's one elephant again, I think we might be okay if we can just shoot six times and get a little bit of crits and where are we at 37 40 percent i like if you're wondering whether that thing's friendly it ain't what where where are you shit i don't see it must be that one what is it what is it something uh, there's a problem Start the unit back up, or this... Good. We're reading the station. It's active. Wait, really? Was that was that the one? That might also be something up here, but I don't know. And come on. 90%. 92. That was weird. There was only one of those. But there's more to do. There. Check your map for the next zone. Ooh, look at that. And there. Got it. Okay, so now map next zone is all the way up there. And let's uh, have a look on the map to see. We're going to have to go around up north of this one and then follow the ridge, uh, the edge of the map. Okay. Um, here we go. Uh, I think we have enough ammo or sort of a durability to complete this. Let's give it a shot. It's also like uh, whether it becomes nighttime before we get there. All right, so let's head over there. All right, we're having a little bit of a problem. Our gun is pretty much dead. So let's uh, find a safe corner here. Set up shop. Uh, we don't need to set up a big shop. We just need to set up a little bit of a shop here. Uh, that will just be enough to call this shelter. And let's actually just go inside. There we go. And then we get a fabricator. Yeah. And I will be then repairing. That's so good. So good. Can I also repair this one? No. It has to be a specific one. It would be nice if it was like anything that is above in sort of tech level would be uh, could be still be used for repairs. Okay. On which that was actually really smooth. All right. We are. Let's see how we where we are. We are so damn close. Let's uh, head on over for the last path and then uh, we'll be triggering the last. Um, yeah. The last of these uh, radar locations. Hello, elephant. Friendly elephant. And let's see what we can uh, can get here. It must be right over mm, the ridge. Oh, what is that? Okay, that's a piggy. Uh, where is it? Uh, okay, it's still up here. Must be up here in the corner. Well, and I'm pretty sure that after we take the last one, we still have to find all the way home. This is why the Sinotai recall thing is super valuable. Oh, I don't like that. There. And I think we are right, right next to it. Come on. There it is. I see it, but I also see that thing. We need to figure out what that is. Well, here we are. You know what to do? It's a zebra. No worries. Put it here. Boop. All right, ready? Let's That's get that it. started. Systems online. Final one. See something down there that's hostile? Heads up. Wildlife incoming. 
Where? Are these two? No. I think it was that one. Maybe a cougar or something. Right. Oh, there is. There's something. Something happened. You're gonna need to reactivate that thing. Reactivate Good. It. We're reading the station. 79. It's active. I think that's just a, a precaution so you don't activate it and run away. So you have to sort of activate it and stick around. Otherwise, you activate it run away. Okay, that's there it. There we go. Scan's finished. We're clear. Now I just need to get back. Anything else? Nah. Nope. I reckon this one's just about over. <laughs> just about over. Except we still have to go all the way back, which is a pain. But... It's not that big of a pain, I think. We just have to make sure that we do not uh, end up. I think we have to... Yeah, I think we can actually just go straight there. All right, let me run there and then see if we can complete the mission. Maybe something exciting happens along the way. I can't believe it. We're actually getting back here. Shoot that damn thing. All right, so we've used... 300 bullets to get here <laughs> or 200 bullets we had 300 in total but we got the 200 uh, we have our campfire we have our uh, pickaxe we have random crap it is time for us to head back to the station wow what an absolute insane mission and it took about four and a half hours for me to record this as you can see here it started at seven hours so that was a long mission let now my my task is to see if i can cut it down to something reasonable for your enjoyment so thank you very much everyone for watching and following along it was super exciting to get into this really difficult uh, desert mission and uh, well that's going to be interesting to see how that uh, pans out in the future we want to see what we just want to wrap up here by looking at what missions now become available as we have completed that now we got the death ray scan and we have a lot of interesting things out here exciting and we can even go oh there's another one waterfall is something i'm going to do on stream next stream so that is uh, going to be it, we also have a decent amount of additional resources here and uh, we got up to yeah so 250 and 100 we'll see what we uh, we can get for the next episode thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed it if you have be sure to uh, let me know and uh, some one way or the other and i'll see you guys next time take care and stay effective <laughs>